This video is a little off topic for me, but I've got to get this out of my system and it won't take long. Anyone who knows me knows I love stats and I also love movies. Mark Twain said there are lies, there are damn lies, and then there are statistics. I wanted to prove this out and found something interesting. For this exercise, I chose The Last Jedi, the most recent release in the Star Wars universe, which is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Disney. This is quite an achievement by Disney, who also recently bought the entire Marvel universe as well. While doing some side research on the Disney side, I noticed that Disney as a whole has become so influential in Hollywood, it can basically control the mainstream media movie reviews. Well, maybe not control, but strike so much fear into a professional reviewer that they would rather just give a thumbs up rather than risk their perks and possibly their career. Take The Last Jedi, for example. Released at the end of 2017, it was considered a total success by the industry, coming in at over 90% by the critics' rating system. Even the very early fan ratings were popcorn fresh for a short time. Very short. Quickly, the popcorn rating dipped to 57%, and over the next few months, it dropped steadily to where it sits now at 47, with almost 190,000 reviews. Disney, of course, circled the media wagons quickly, saying that the popcorn score must be artificial, brought down by a small number of fan trolls who hate everything. Forbes magazine soon squashed the whole troll angle, and then the YouTube rant videos started growing. My favorite is by the girl at Mindless Entertainment, and I've attached a small segment of it at the end of this video. If you hated this movie as much as I did, then check out her full review on her YouTube channel. But something still bugged me from a stats point of view. And glancing through some of the Rotten Tomatoes popcorn reviews, I noticed a strange pattern right away. The numbers were off. Way off. Now, I'd heard a rumor that Rotten Tomatoes doesn't factor in any score under one star to help protect the movie industry. Rotten Tomatoes, after all, wants you to see as many movies as possible. So if you leave a review with a half star, that's considered excessive and not counted in the overall average. I can tell you now, after doing my own spreadsheets, that hidden little fact is absolutely true. I did random samples in groups of 100 reviews and only added in scores with 0.5 stars or higher. Anything that was zero or blank wasn't included. The results were, well, bad. Epically bad. Let me rattle off just a random sample of 100 that I put into the spreadsheet. To make it easier, I've converted each star into a percentage, so 5 stars is 100% and a half star is 10. Okay, bear with me, I'm going to rattle through these, it'll take about 90 seconds, and I'm going to do this in percentage points. So every half star is going to be 10%. So here we go. Uh, 10... 100, 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 40, 100, 10, 10, 40, 10, 40, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 100, 20, 10, 20, 10, 70, 10, 40, 40, 10, 20, 60, 20, 40, 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Let me scroll down real quick. 30, 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30, 10, 50, 10, 20, 30, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 100, 100, 10, 10, 10, 30, 20, 50, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 10, 10, 10, 40, 10, 10, 10, 10, 40, 20, 10, 20, 20, 10, 40, 80, 10, 30, 20, 10, 10, 20, 40, 
10, 10, 10. This first group only produced a total of 117.5 stars, divided by 100 for an average score of 1.2 stars, or 24%. Not 47, not 40, not even 30. 24. There are currently over 2,000 pages of popcorn reviews. Every group I picked hovered around that number. While Disney was quick to say that 57 back last year at the end of 2017, wasn't a real score. They should be thanking God and Rotten Tomatoes that they don't allow scores below 20%. Because if they did, I think validated Star Wars fans might actually march into the Magic Kingdom and burn it to the ground. Keep in mind that the lowest Star Wars movie to date was The Phantom Menace, if that gives you any idea of the ramifications here. What does this mean? Well, for one, Rotten Tomatoes might want to reconsider its scoring system or changing its average algorithm. Also, heads need to roll in regards to the future of the Star Wars franchise. Someone important tied directly to this film needs to fall on their sword. But maybe I'm being too dramatic. It's only a movie, right? My final statement on the matter is this. I'm older and have watched a lot of cinema over the decades, and I have never ever seen a good film generate this kind of emotion, which you're gonna watch now. Enjoy. Uh, anyway, where are we? Yeah, so these critics are just, they're just, their balls are too small to fucking stand up to Disney and say, no, make a better movie. Like, no, this isn't good feminism. Watch Alien, watch uh, Mad Max, watch Atomic Blonde, watch the original fucking Star Wars trilogy. If you want good fucking feminism, right? Don't watch this piece of shit that does women absolutely no justice at all that underrepresents black people as much as star wars ever has like why like there's no reason there's nothing there's nothing about the diversity in this movie that should make you jump up and go yay but everyone's just so fucking scared of being smacked down for it because that's exactly what disney and kathleen kennedy and jj abrams and ryan johnson have done in response to the film and fucking shame on you jj and anyone else who has said that if you don't like this movie you hate women or you're sexist fucking shame on you because you guys are the problem here you guys are creating this problem where we can't have a dialogue where we can't have a discussion where you're sitting there and saying well my opinion is this and if anyone has any different opinion then you're completely wrong and that is completely idiotic you can't have discussions you can't have change it ignores the fact that this country is made up of millions of people who are completely diverse who range on the spectrum of beliefs from wildly from one end to the other and everywhere in between and everybody's opinion matters and it should be respected all we hear from are the people way the fuck on that side and way the fuck on that side and we don't hear from the people in the middle like us who are saying like guys look i respect women's rights i respect black rights i respect gay rights i respect everyone's rights but at the end of the day make me a good fucking star wars movie and i don't give a shit if we're fighting those fucking battles on those screens those are not the battles i want to see i want to see epic lightsaber battles i want to see epic you know battles between two warring forces of good and evil i do not want to see your fucking social agenda battles fought out on the screen i will go fight those battles in my life on my own i hope you will too but this is not the fucking vessel for them so not only are you sitting there shoving this down our throats and forcing us to digest this but you're also sitting here and getting mad at us when we don't agree with you that's fucking ridiculous i mean dissent is what fuels creativity it's what fuels discussion it's what fuels all forms of progress and you're just shutting down any kind of dissent you just want to freeze things right where they are and be like well that's the way it is so fuck all y'all i mean shame on you jj abrams Shame on you, Disney. Shame on you, Kathleen Kennedy, for gendering the force, for taking it away, for taking the force from being something that belongs to all of us and trying to make it belong to half of us. I mean, Christ's sakes, I'm somebody, I am a woman. I very much a woman. I believe in being a woman. I get in touch with my femininity all the time. I like wearing dresses. I sometimes like wearing makeup and high heels and all that shit. But fuck it, I don't want the force to be female. If you had to make me pick, I'd want the force to be fucking male. Why? Because I respond to male energy. That's just my life. It's how it's always been. I'm attracted to masculinity. I'm attracted to male energy. So if you had asked me, gun to my head, gender the force, I'm going to say male. 
I'm gonna say male. It's not because I hate women or I'm afraid of them. God, if I was scared of myself, it'd be really fucking difficult to sleep at night. No, I am a goddamn strong, powerful, independent woman. I don't take shit from men. I don't let them push me around or put me down or tell me what my goddamn place is in this world. And I certainly fucking don't let you do that either. So fuck you, Kathleen Kennedy. Fuck you for trying to take this from us because that's the whole bullshit thing. When you sit there and say shit like Star Wars is not for the fans, fuck yourselves. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for us. You might want to start showing a little goddamn respect.